Welcome to the first video of SAT Math Tactics. My name's Rob and I will be your tutor and your guide through this video series. In this introduction video, we're going to cover basically what is actually in the Math Tactics series, what it's about, what it'll do for you, how to use these videos, and then how to practice for the math section to achieve your score goals. So first, you might have already checked out my SAT Math Bootcamp. If you haven't already, do so. But let's talk about the difference between the bootcamp and the tactics. Now, the bootcamp covers primarily the math content that you're going to see on the SAT. So, you know, equations, algebra, triangles, you know, the basics and the rules of math. Whereas the math tactics series is going to cover the application of that content to real problems. So we're going to look at real SAT problems, work through them, and uh, basically show you how to, how to improve on those questions. Now, there are over a hundred videos in the series, and we cover hundreds of math problems. And before we go any further, make sure you download the SAT Math Study Guide. There'll be a link in the description uh, to that study guide. And you can use it for the Math Bootcamp, it has a bunch of places you can take notes, and also for the introduction videos of the tactic series. In addition, you'll want to check out the practice tests also in the description, so that you can have access to all the practice problems that I'm going to work through in this series. So what is the SAT Math Tactics series covers? Well, the videos are in order of importance. So I start out with, say, algebra, and I have about 13 videos in algebra. And algebra is one of the most important topics to appear on the SAT, one of the most common ones. And then I go to functions. So functions are the next most important topic, and I have a bunch of videos on that, and so on. So the videos are in order of importance. So you know the ones closer to the beginning have the most important content, the most common content to cover. Now, the videos are organized into topics not by test. I just take the four tests that I had and I organize them into different topics. But of course, certain problems can cover multiple topics. So I have kind of artificially reduced these different questions down to singular topics. But again, you know, sometimes certain questions deal with different things. And I'll discuss that when we work through the problems. And finally, the point of the series is to show you how to work through these problems, but also to teach you problem solving, whoops, problem solving flexibility. Basically, Obviously, we want to know there's usually going to be one really good way to solve a problem, but many times there's going to be two or three ways to solve a problem, and knowing all the different kinds of ways you can solve a math problem uh, on the SAT is going to help you for those times where you don't know what to do on a certain problem. The more flexible you are, the better your problem-solving skills, the more likely you're going to be able to work out the answer to that question. So how to use these videos? So as I said before, download the SAT Math Study Guide and the four practice tests. Uh, you're going to use this to take notes, and you're going to use this to do the actual practice problems. Watch the videos and take notes. When there are practice problems in the videos, make sure to do the problems before I do them. It's going to be pretty much a waste of your time just to watch me work through a problem you've never tried before. You want to try the problem first, see if you get it right, and then compare your method to mine. And that's going to be the important key, which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, and then finally, rewatch the videos as necessary. So go back to the introduction. You'll maybe pick up things on the second run that you didn't the first time. Go back to videos to review certain topics as you work through problems and realize you still need to review. Always come back to the videos and rewatch them when you need them. Now, how to practice. And I talk about this in some detail in my YouTube video titled Don't Take Practice SATs, but I'm going to give you the basic overview here. And the basic idea is we want to make sure we can do these problems untimed before we can start worrying about time. If you can't get problems right when you have unlimited time, adding time to the mix is not going to help you. It's going to hurt you, if anything. So we have to focus most of our attention at first on, on untimed questions and untimed sections. You're going to spend time working very carefully through these questions, and I'll talk about that in a second. Once you can hit your score goals without time, then you can start adding in timed sections. And then, once you can hit your score goals within timed sections, then go ahead and try full tests. Full tests should be the, the last step, or at least the not the primary step in your SAT practice regimen. So again, check out this video if you want some more details as, as to why I uh, recommend you to do this kind of practicing. Now, when you're practicing, when you're doing practice problems, make sure that you're checking your answers and making sure to go over all the questions, not just the ones you got wrong. Uh, if you just do the questions and then check your answers and then say, oh, I got this number right or wrong and then move on, you're not getting the value out of the practice that you really want to get. The practice value comes from this process of checking your answers. It doesn't actually really come from doing the questions themselves. That's only the way you can get uh, to checking your answers and figuring out what's going on. So if you get a question right, you want to find out, you know, what are the different ways to solve those questions? Was there a better way? Did you get it right because you were lucky? Did you get it right because you guessed? Figure out what would you do if you saw that problem again? Of course, if you got a question wrong, you want to try to figure out what went wrong. Did you make a mistake? Did you drop a negative? Did you just not know what to do? 
And then you want to struggle with the problems that you got wrong or you omitted. Really try to figure them out on your own. You have access to the answer, but really try to figure them out before this last stop, which is if you can't figure anything else, uh, you can't figure it out, go ahead, then you can ask me for further help with a question. Um, but that should be your last step, right? You should do most of the work, if possible, yourself, because that's where the learning is going to come in. Of course, I'm always here to help and give you pointers and advice, but my goal is to make you self-sufficient, is to make you able to prepare yourself for this test. All right, let's move on to the next video, which is going to discuss the basics of the math section.